Do you know for sure you're going to heaven? This man does. He says he's been there. For two minutes, I was out of my body, and what I saw blew me away. He says he knows how to get you there, too. People won't believe how simple it is to get to heaven, and I love showing them how. Near-death experts say he's the real deal. Find out how his visit to paradise could change your life, too. Watch Heaven's Tourist, Monday on Local 2 at 10. Well, have you ever wondered what heaven is really like? Tomorrow night at 10, I introduce you to a local man who says he knows because he was Heaven's Tourist. Christian Andresen is a recording artist with a message. It changed my music. It changed my life. It changed my direction. It changed how I dealt with people. Almost 10 years ago to the day, a near-death experience showed him the afterlife. The love and the acceptance and the unconditional energy I felt, it was completely contrary to what I had been taught by religion. Now he wants to tell everyone what heaven was really like and how you can get there. If you want to go to heaven, you live your life with love, you'll go to heaven. You'll create it all around you. You'll see it. You'll know it. His remarkable story, was it a miracle or is there a medical explanation for his visit to heaven? You decide tomorrow night on Local 2 at 10. Now to tonight's Local 2 Extra. Do you believe in heaven? If so, what do you think it looks like? A local man says he knows the answer because he's been there. Christian Andresen died 10 years ago. Doctors brought him back to life, leaving him with an incredible story of what he calls his journey to the afterlife. Are you ready, Christian? Here we go. For as long as he can remember, recording artist Christian Andresen believed he was destined to be a star. It's the first time I was in Billboard magazine and I won their Critics' Choice. But it took a more humbling experience for him to realize that he was destined for much more. All of a sudden, in my mind, I felt like something is wrong. Ten years ago, Christian died, the result of an interaction between prescription pain pills and dental surgery. I felt myself being lifted up and surrounded by this, this light. In real time, he was only gone for two minutes, but what he saw felt like it lasted a lifetime. I'm walking through this garden looking at all these colorful flowers that are alive, and there's, this, there's all this beautiful, beyond blue water that is sparkling and tingling and it sings. The garden, he believes, was heaven. And while there, he was shown his life's review. And all of a sudden, I found myself in a long hallway of doors. There one was this beautiful, gothic-looking wood door. And as I would peer through the door, I would literally see oh, an good. existence that, that was I was participating in. But did Christian actually visit heaven? Or is there another explanation to what happened to him? Well, some scientists believe that this is just a physiological response. It's a lack of oxygen to the brain, which causes a near-death experience. Houston Dr. Pavan Grover has been fascinated with near-death experiences for years. Scientists have, have actually stimulated a part of the brain and been able to recreate a near-death experience. People seeing light, having kind of a life review. But he says medicine can't account for everything these patients see. What these scientists can't explain is how people, when they die, and they have an out-of-body experience, and they can describe what's happening like half across the hospital, and there's no way that they could know that. Regardless of the scientific arguments, Christian says his experience made it clear to him that he had a job to do, help others realize that we all come from heaven and we're all going back. When we're done here, we're going to be creators of something brand new. We're going to be, sky's the limit for what we could create. Spread his message, he's using his music. A new album of songs dedicated to his near death experience comes out next month. But in addition to his voice, Christian has another gift. People would come in my path and I would suddenly see the problems that were plaguing them. He can see what others can't, and he's using these intuitive abilities and his near death experience to help others. Everyone in life has a dream, but there is always something blocking them from their dream. And I am the type of person that I can usually spot what's blocking a person from their dreams. And for most, that means discovering how to love and enjoy life's journey.